Every year, Plumpton Racecourse hosts the Moorcroft Racing Welfare Day. It's a hugely important event in their calendar and it raises a great deal of money for the charity, which is dedicated to the rehoming and rehabilitation of ex racehorses. It's something that's close to all of our hearts here in racing, and as you can see, with a huge crowd turning out, one which receives a lot of support from the local community. Plumpton's uh, quite a small circuit, relatively speaking, to other racecourses. It's only a mile and a furlong round. It's oval shaped, uh, undulating as it's described, and the going can be at times quite variable. It's a clay subsoil, so uh, when it's dry it can be very quick, and when it's wet it can be quite deep. And how many times do you race a year? 16 meetings a year. Uh, again, when I started there was 18, but it's now 16 a year, and it's been that way for some time. And we race through the depth of the winter. We start in September, we finish in May. And in January this year coming, or 2013, there are three meetings in the one month. It can take some getting, those three meetings, in that short space of time. But if the weather's with us, we can put it on. Mark Cornford's done a fantastic job with the track. Um, we're very keen to provide the best ground without overwatering. We only race from the 23rd of September through to about the 10th of May. We have 16 days, probably enough, enough racing for this track. Um, and we aim to provide ground through the winter that isn't too heavy. Um, we spend a lot of money on the, on the drainage. Um, I think it's something like £155,000 over, over that period. Um, and uh, Mark and his team have got, should have great credit for that. The opening contest on the card was the annual Shetland Pony Race, featuring miniature jockeys riding miniature horses. Flicker, Minnie Frankel on the far side, London Welsh Rugby Club in red and black coming home well for Tilly Lee, London Welsh Rugby Club and Fairy Flicker for Nicole Hughes, Minnie Frankel on the far side, Goring Hotel is thundering home as well, very close, judge needed, Goring Hotel. Bradley, well done, brilliant result, did you think you'd got it there? Um, it, it was out of the three at finish and I thought I got a nose in front but I came from right at the back. And what a pony he is. We were just hearing he's been ridden by some of the great Sam Twist and Davies. Are you hoping to be a jockey one day as well? Hoping, but my mum won't let me, so... Aww. My first win this season, and I'm very proud of young Bradley. It's, it's been a, a delight for me to sponsor it, I have to tell you. Um, my horses don't win as well as that one did. A lovely photo finish, most exciting for everybody, and that's what racing is all about. A very good idea, and I'm delighted to sponsor the winner. And the race is all in aid of a very important cause today in the oh, Moorcroft Welfare Centre. Because we all have raised, I, I keep my own hunting horses and my own team chase horses at home. And I never sell them on when they're past their sell-by date. Unfortunately, race horses have to be sold on. And this is a way of rehabilitating them and getting them back into, they can do dressage, they can do show jumping, anything. But they have to be reschooled out of their uh, racing habits and uh, back into the... Uh, uh, horsing, horsey community, and these make they make brilliant hunters, brilliant team chasers. Do you know Denman is now running in team chasing? Wouldn't want to come up against him. <laughs> Nor me, absolutely not. So I mean, it's a wonderful organisation, and I will certainly sponsor it for the rest of my life. I'll give all I've got, especially so that these horses can be well looked after. Very, very important thing that they do. This is the 13th annual Moorcroft Charity Race Day. Um, I was the chairman for the first 12 years and they've got a record crowd probably because I wasn't the chairman <laughs> this year. Um, the 13th uh, this, this year um, and a very successful lunch and uh, auction. Richard's a very, very good auctioneer and he's, I think, about 25,000 they raised today, which is very nearly probably one of the best anyhow in the last 13 years. The auction went so well, we realised 24,800 and what we've already got in the bank already, I would be very surprised if we haven't exceeded last year's 50,000, which would be at least the second highest, maybe the highest that we've ever had on this day. Just tell us a little bit about how important this funding is and what it goes towards in the Moorcroft Centre. Well, our property runs to 90 acres. We've got 20 rail paddocks. 
and we have 30 boxes and the outgoings gross a year are nearly 300,000, which anyone running a yard would understand. And this is our key fundraising day in that the outturn today will cover a fifth of our costs, which is absolutely fundamental to the operation and really keeps the show on the road. A fine example of Moorcroft's work is Ravenclaw, who found a happy home after life on the racetrack. He came over from Ireland uh, in 2010, started for 2010, won his first race for us at Fontwell Park over hurdles and carried a penalty into second place here at Plumpton about two weeks later. Unfortunately, from then on, it was very much a downhill story with him. Um, he bled from the nose in his next race, a novice chase at Stratford, and um, had 18 pretty difficult months uh, combating a number of problems. And um, eventually ran at Newbury for the last time on New Year's Eve last year and bled again, so we retired him. And we were very, very lucky to get a place at Moorcroft and he was he arrived at Moorcroft, Moorcroft one month later on the 1st of February. So we were very fortunate, really. And is he still there or has he's he been rehomed? He's still there. He's probably going to be there until at least next year. Um, he, he had a lot of, um, he's got a lot of physical and psychological problems um, which are being ironed out. Uh, he's doing fantastically well. He's thriving. He's been used by horse whisperers. He's been ridden. He's been used for demonstration, demonstrating lung lining. And he looks a, a completely different horse. We were, in a way, we were we were shattered when um, his racing career ended. But um, I think, from his point of view, um, it was the best thing could have happened to him because he's having a great time now, and it's such a wonderful place. Well, Emma, you're one of the leading trainers here at Plumpton. Uh, what is it you enjoy about the course? Is it one of your sort of regulars? Um, it is. I actually train my first ever winner here, so it will always uh, it will always be a special place to me. But it's, I think it's one of those places. It always has a good atmosphere. There's um, all, all the the people here can be so close to the action, see um, the horses in the paddock and out on the course without actually having to move that far, as it were. But it just has a really nice feel and. And you know we introduced some quite nice horses here over the years um, because it's a very fair track and, and they do a good job with the ground. So it's a no, it's a nice place. The Moorcroft Charity Race Day features a three-mile chase run in honour of local training legend Josh Gifford. Down towards the last, Trucker's Benefit's resolution being put to the test by Ballyman. Croco Mister back in third. Trucker's Benefit alongside Ballyman jumps to the lead at the last. In third is Croco Mister uphill for home. Trucker's Benefit's been produced beautifully here by Richard Johnson to come through and lead. Not doing much in front. Croco Mister is closing, but that was timed perfectly for Trucker's Benefit to win. Oh look, it's a special day, and it's always a great day. Not just because they've got a, they've honoured to have a race in Dad's name, but also the, the Moorcroft Charity, it's their big fundraising day. So we always try and have a couple of tables and a marquee there, so we always try and have a runner here today to support the meeting. Unfortunately, the horse I was going to run is lame, because um, I obviously would love to have had a runner today, but we'll be back next year anyway. It's a lovely place to come racing, isn't it? Lovely, friendly atmosphere. Yeah, look, plumped into one of those local tracks, very accessible by train. It's always a good crowd here, very knowledgeable crowd, and they look after you here. Certainly do, and Tina Plumpton today, are you having a good day? It's great to have a day off, to be honest, and, and come here and we've been in the, had a fabulous lunch, surrounded by a lot of friends, a lot of people, and there's great auctions, so a lot of money raised for Moorcroft, so it's been great fun so far. I always find there is such a nice atmosphere there, isn't there? It's so easy to get to, you, you pop in and they're always welcoming here. We see a lot of owners here, a lot of friends, because we live locally, I think for anybody to have a day out and a race course so local to you, you know, it is a fun and social time out, so, and you know, it's good racing, the ground's fabulous with all the rain that we've been having. So there's some good races still to come. Plumpton also plays host to a key bonus initiative leading up to the Cheltenham Festival. We've got a very popular SIS sponsored Cheltenham bonus series. Um, it's a series of five novice chases. It starts on our 19th of November race meeting with, with the Wings for Life novices steeplechase. Um, the winner of those five novice chases, they go on to win at Cheltenham. Um, they qualify potentially for a £60,000 bonus, which is shared between the owner, the trainer and the stable staff. So it tracks some really nice horses to Plumpton. Last year we had Invictus win, who obviously went on to win at Ascot. 
Ascot and sadly couldn't run at Cheltenham. But Cumbershois uh, won here um, and came third, third at Cheltenham. Um, and Notice de la Tour as well won one of those races. In the past, we've had horses of quality of Voy Puya Steadies, who was the last one to actually win the bonus, um, Ben Salem, Medemi in recent years. So, you know, it's a really good opportunity to see a, a nice horse here, here at Plumpton. Well, Matty, it's one of your local tracks. You're one of the leading riders here. Just tell us a little bit about what makes Pumpton special for you. What makes special for me is that it's 20 minutes down the road. <laughs> I only have to put a tenner in the car to get here. So, no, it's always been, I've always been quite lucky here since day one, since I was claiming and I've had a lot of winners here, local trainers that I ride for as well. So yeah, I've always always enjoyed coming here. Are there any days that stand out for you in particular? I've had a couple of doubles here. Uh, where's Johnny always runs well here for me. The old grey horse, he'll be back again soon. So yeah, just, had a, just, just been lucky and rode plenty of winners around here. Is it quite a unique track? Does it take a certain type of horse that likes it here? It's just on firm ground. You, you have to have a fairly quick horse. If that ground's quick, they kick off the top of that hill and they're gone. But like today, it's a bit softer. You do. You have to stay because as soon as you turn in with 2L, you've got to get up that hill as well. So it all depends on the ground really to determine how you're going to get home. And it seems like a great atmosphere here. We're here on a Monday, there's a huge crowd, isn't there? And it's a really friendly track. Yeah, most of them I've got tickets for, it's all my family. Yeah. That's why it's so rowdy. All your fans. All my fa family and friends, well, so-called friends. Yeah. <laughs> they want you to be here, you know, some, not criticising some race courses, but as soon as you come, you're welcomed. Uh, we've always liked Plumpton, we've always had a bit of luck here, we've had a few winners over the year, and all, you're close to the action as well, so we're down in Marquee down there, and a few of my owners are there, so they like to join in and support. Are there any memorable days that stand out for you here at Plumpton in particular? Um, I think we gave Zara Phillips her first ride here, would you believe, <laughs> uh, in a charity race, uh, the horse came second as ever. But no, we've had a fair few winners over the years here, but um, uh, yeah, certain horses have to like this place, but uh, yeah, we've had a few winners, so uh, we always like to come here. A lovely day today, is a very good cause, as you say, to support and something that's so important to racing. Yeah, I think it's very important that we do actually support the rehabilitation racehorses because uh, one reason is that there's lots of people out there in the world who don't know anything about what we do and some of them actually think that train racing racehorses might be quite cruel, but of course it's not. Uh, they're bred to do it and they love doing it and they're the best looked after animals in the whole world. We have to get that across and after their racing days are over, we have to make a point of responsibility of looking after them and thankfully we've got a lot of people who do support those sort of things and I'm, I'm always keen to support like a lot of trainers what they do after they've finished racing. To find out more about the Moorcroft Racehorse Welfare Centre you can visit their website mrwc.org.uk